So here we are with a board and I'm gonna give you a little bit of a workshop in how to customize your boards for maximum impact for you and your team's customizations. So first things first, a board is a Kanban view allowing you to see stuff in more of a column view. Now the great thing about ClickUp is you have the option to group by and you can change what they are. So for example, you can even choose a custom field that you might create to really narrow down how you view this. One of the most typical views is status. Status gives you an indication of where things are throughout the process. And this is great for moving stuff across into different locations. You may notice that a few things are on visual or actually being shown. You can actually adapt this in this area here. You can even remove, uh, don't have to show assignees and really customize it a bit further. There are a couple of default views if you did want to set a default setting up but you can see that this gives you a better indication of what's coming up. Now, one of the things you might want to do is press due date, something we showed earlier, and you can naturally move stuff across that you see relevant. Now down here, you'll get a indicator of a unsaved changes. If I save that, this view will be made globally. So if anybody else is viewing this, they can see those changes. Now, let's say I want to go and change it back to status. And let's say I moved something out of here to be in the editing process. Now, obviously, I'm going to set myself a priority, urgent, uh, as you can see here. But you can see that it's low normal priority and urgent priority as a sort of uh, just a general sort of indicator. Let's add a priority here, maybe high, and, and a task over here that has a low one. So you can see that it's sort of all thrown out because you're like, okay, I'm doing some editing, what's the most important thing to do? And imagine if this list was much longer, if I press save down here, then what I can do is go to sort by, hit priority, and you can see that all of the priority based items, the most important ones, rise to the top. You can actually change that if you want to with the lowest priority at the top if you did want to, but that's a helpful way to change um, a little bit of the sorting too. Now, one of the things that you might want to do is actually use the filter ability. Now, let's say you're spanning across all of these areas of work, filming, editing, review. Well, one of the things you could do is uh, choose the due date to be within the next seven days. And as you can see, majority of the tasks drop off. This might be a better indication of seeing, okay, what's important to me right now and what needs to be worked on due to the due date. Now, you can add tons more filters, even creating groups, and even when these, like even the details like milestones, sprint points, etc., can be added here. So a whole host of abilities when it comes to modifying details. And one of the things you can do is actually have subtasks created. So if I, for example, added a task, a demo task down here, one of the things you can actually have is your subtask showing. So you can see expand all, and you'll be able to see this pop out. So you can see that task now pops out and it's, you can add all of the relevant items to it. So for example, adding a bit more detail as well. So you can really go into details with subtasks. You can actually have them as separate tasks, living slightly outside of the realm, if that makes sense. And you can even collapse them like we had that before. Now, if I go up here, you can obviously modify the board views that you have, but you can actually go and share them here. Now, there are more settings that are quite helpful. So you can set this as a default everyone and default for me mode, but you can also auto save the changes. And if you don't want that thing popping up on the right hand side and you can even duplicate it or add it as one of your favorites too, and even pin it from up here. Now, one of the useful things is I can um, organize this one as a production lab. And that's helpful because I can give it a better name at the top. So that's a lot more customization. Now up here, if you're looking for a certain item and you want to be able to find it, you can search and that's almost like a filtering system in itself. And these are all small ways to improve how you're using your ClickUp boards experience. Now we've got a section on automation. So I recommend checking that out. And obviously up here, you can adapt the custom um, uh, statuses to what's more suitable for you. So if you want to change the title of these, even add your own, you can up here 
from um, maybe adding an extra step between editing and review. So hopefully this was helpful in getting you set up with boards and really taking advantage of the space that you've got in front of you. Thank you.